traditionally it's, it's, it's horrifyingly busy at the Mauser stand and it's not just the technology uh, guys, just look right behind what's happening with free coffee. You know, there's people lining up, we've got first in, first out, single file, like 12 bits of people working, waiting for coffee, which is brilliant here. And we thank <laughs> Mark, Patrick for receiving us, for receiving Electro Video um, with your new products basically from Mauser. Yep. I hear there's some hot stuff released there is. this morning if, or yesterday or yep. a very, at very short notice in, in any case. Can you tell a bit basically what happened, um, Mark, with uh, the new products from Mauser? Well, you, Just know, you know that Maus is focused on newest products for newest designs. We do. Yeah, and uh, we've been going to market like that for some time. So we were approached by NXP to bring one of their latest products onto the stand, mm -hmm. which is the NXP Hexiware platform in partnership with Microelectronica. And I have yeah. Andrea from Microelectronica yeah. here who will be able to tell us some of the details about this yeah. brand new product. Yeah. Arrived on the stand this morning. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Thanks very much for introducing that and we'll be back with the next subject in a, in a couple of minutes, okay? We're talking to, um, to Andrea. Andrea, you are uh, a head of sales at Microelectronica, a yes. uh, company in Belgrade, in Serbia. We know Microelectronica and our audience knows, uh, knows them well. So we're very pleased to see you here. Very pleased to, very pleased to see you too. So this is a, a product we are launching today. It's on Kickstarter uh, already, starting this morning. Mm -hmm. It's uh, developed in uh, cooperation with NXP, so it's based on NXP processors. Yes. Just to interrupt you, Andrea, what were your selection criteria specifically to use an NXP processor? Um, okay, very powerful uh, processors, low power, of mm -hmm. course, because it, that, that's crucial designing a, a, um, a variable device, okay, that has to work on battery all day long, and also a, a, a very wide selection of of sensors. Okay. In fact, all the sensors in this device are brought by NXP. Be because wearables is all about sensors and interfacing to microcontrollers and the third aspect is always battery and power management. And Tell me, and connectivity of course, yes. Tell me a bit about the, the power management. How does it perform in terms of low, low, low power? Well, in, in terms of low power, we found the, the um, NXP processor to be very, very good for this. They have very good tools, very good processor, they have go low power. In fact, um, with a very small battery, we can run all day long, considering we have, we have probably 12 different sensors in this device, and, and Bluetooth, which is designed also on uh, NXP processor. So, How can we are engineering audience, of course, we have an engineering audience, can the engineers tap into the power and can they change things, customize things in Hexiware? Yes, this is a completely open source platform, both hardware and software, mm -hmm. and based on the NXP development tools. Okay, so starting... The, 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 the cloud-based tools? Uh, the cloud-based tools comes from Walkabout, a company, uh, a very interesting startup, uh, specialized in Internet of Things and, and cloud. They offer to all the customer that buy this device a free account on the Walkabout cloud service to control the device. We have free apps on Androids and iOS that allow to control the device and those will be released. So it works out of the box, of but the box. also engineers can delve into it, explore it yes. and learn about wearables and IoT and low power and that sort of stuff. That, that's the general idea. Yes. I know you are from Microelectronica, yes. so that's always you've been your background, eh? developing and improving stuff and encoding. How does it work in practice, uh, Andrea? You wear the thing and it collects which data from okay. your body performance? Well, this device has a, okay, an heartbeat sensor, it has an accelerometer, magnetometer, pressure sensor, temperature, uh, uh, Bluetooth, um, and, and many other. It has an OLED display, touch sensor, so it has different sensor. You can wear it as a, you know, as a wearable device. We are releasing an arm mod. <laughs> that you can wear it as a clock mm -hmm. or you can use it as a node for any internal yes. things device. That is now becomes interesting. This, this is the, the, the plat a platform. Yeah, this is a, a, a real platform. That's very engineer yes, style. Yes. I mean, yes, absolutely. Yeah. we love docking stations. Yeah. Okay, so this is designed to be an open source platform for engineers to play with in internal things, wearables and low power design. Mm -hmm. But they have a, a complete docking station where they can pl like plug in the device Mm -hmm. and have basically access to all the external hardware 
this is the famous micro bus released by Micro Electronica and adopted by other vendors like Yes, Mike. it seems to be getting very good adoption. It's very popular. Um, Anoli device is the last in the in the row in presenting this bus. We have right now 200 different clickboards, uh, so covering all type of sensors uh, possible. And we are releasing, we will end up the 2016 with 450 and 2017 by 1000 different clickboards. So you can plug it in and develop it is compatible the whole caboodle with the click si yes. system. Yes. So yeah. You have a wide selection of clicks that you can use to develop with the, with this device. Sorry. Now it becomes really wearable. It's yeah. very small, actually. <laughs> that's that's the problem. Yeah. Um, okay. It looks so like it looks like an interesting uh, kit you've yes, got. You it's package. nicely packaged as usual from your yes. company. We, and we, do, we do really care about packaging and about uh, the out of the box experience for customers. Yeah. It's very important to us. Yeah. It's not just. You know, a board you sell in anti-static bags. Yes. Uh, this comes. Uh, you, you see, there's there's the the, the say the holder for the, for the device, and it comes with a very nice packaging. Uh, and the retail price is forty nine dollars. Forty nine dollars, yeah. Yes. So then we have to, something to keep fit yes. in real life and something to keep fit as an engineer. Is that correct, Andrea? Yes. Yeah. So that's that would be my conclusion for Hexiware. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much for Thank your you interview. Very, Thank you very much for your time.